Keep crossing, little buddy. Keep crossing. There you go. I think you might need a little help up that curve. There you go. Oh, yeah, you're good. All right, get along, little froggy. There you go. Go ahead. Hop along. It's hilarious. I didn't think he could get up that curb. But it turns out frogs can hop. Move along, little froggy. Well, it's starting to rain a little. Alright, so team's dark. Would you like them crispy original group? Uh, original, please. Two sides are going to be uh, green beans, please. And uh, mac and cheese. Ooh. All right. I'm just leaving my EMT training forward slash class. And then I decided, you know what? I want some chicken. I really do. It's my hidden cash. Guys, if you don't have hidden cash in your wallet, you're missing out. I'm seeing the importance of hiding money. You know, you gotta hide money because our wives, our girlfriends, our mates, our significant others, they do it too. So in my wallet is secret money nobody knows about. This chicken is off the grid. Nobody knows I'm getting chicken. How are you? I'm on. It's all me. <laughs> Appreciate you, brother. Thank you. All right. Hey, man, thank you. Appreciate you being here. I always have rain gear with me. Always. Not today. It's going to fit right down in, in my belly. Put it right here. Right across there. Oh, it's delightful. I've always wondered too, like if something happened, like let's, if I'm carrying, I'm transporting something like this. I mean, yeah, I think about it every time I'm on a motorcycle, but God forbid I'm in some terrible wreck collision and they come up on the scene. Oh my God, his internal organs are everywhere. Now, uh, it turns out it's just original dark meat or to be saved. Can you imagine? People are always talking about how unhealthy, how unhealthy fast food is. But what if I'm in a collision and I sustain blunt trauma and that and that my vital organs are actually protected by this box of chicken? Chicken saving lives. Here we are in August, and it's cold. This rain is, <laughs> this rain is cold. I always say that motorcycling is the art of managing discomfort with extreme enjoyment. Like, yes, I'm wet, but I'm still happy. And another little frog jumping across. It's a froggy night. Here's what's incredible though. This chicken, in my jacket, this hot fried chicken in a bag. Oh man, it is, I'm warm. My core is warm. I should have discovered this. I should have discovered this years ago. I'm telling you. I don't know if I'm impatient or if I have, or if I have ADD, what my deal is, but I can never wait to eat things sometimes. Like I just, I, I, I just want it in me and I burn my mouth all the time. I'm like, by the time you're my age, you should stop burning your mouth. I, I don't know what my deal is, but this is really great too because it's keeping me warm, but it's also cooling my chicken down, so I'll be able to tear into it as soon as I get home. I'm Batman. My redneck bat cave has no electricity to it, but I can feel everything. I've got on my ramp, I got little to no light right now. This is why interior firefighting fascinates me because I'm very comfortable in dark or confined spaces. I can feel what we call sugar sand out here under my feet and I'm getting feedback. I'm using other senses. And I don't, I don't want to sound crazy, but there are other senses, too, that you can use in situations like this, whether you call it psychic or the force, and it's just... Oh, oh. The hell? Who left that out here? Oh, man. 
It's my dirt bike stand. <sighs> oh God. Oh man, I landed in dog poo. Gotta get to the hose. Ugh. Gosh. Why do they have to crap right on a trail? I just took my gloves off. Oh, you! I'm on! It's all me! <laughs>